take off the front panel. If it's a car model, you gotta open that up. And you got the pins here, you'll slide to the center here. Well, you're supposed to take this drip out. And you slide the little pin and release the bottom. And you lift up and down, and set this down. And you have a seven sixteenths short stubby wrench like this. So you can get into the bolt that's right here. You'll loosen that up and you'll just loosen it up like so. And okay, now once you remove the front panel the burner, you just back it all the way out. Do each one of them. Pull them out. Then you're gonna go ahead and get a screwdriver and re we've already taken the screws out, but you remove all the igniters, pull them out. All of them. And then you're gonna go ahead and remember how the wiring is, but you're gonna disconnect the wires to the micro switches so that way you don't damage them because you will. And it's, and it's too hard to get them out. Then there's a, a little locking nut right there. You have to loosen that up. And then you get the other side over here. This is a 3 8 little nut driver. Loosen it up. As you're spinning it, tilt your screwdriver down so you can hold that screw and come out slowly. Otherwise, if you drop it, you gotta go look for it. Now, once you got that all done, and you've done the two screws here, you're gonna go ahead and take the if you notice this here it won't come off you try to take it off it won't come off unless you take the orifices off so get a half inch deep socket and you'll have to you will have to move the burner out of the way and put it inside here and then start taking them out just remove the orifice because it won't clear the heat shield when you try to pull it out it'll stop you from getting it done and you do all three of them. We've already done it, but all three of them are taken out. Then you can go ahead and there's two little screws that you took off on each side. There's a stem, thread stem sticking out and you'll catch that. So you gotta clear that. And then you're gonna go ahead and once you clear that part there, you have to then make sure you loosen up the two bolts on each side. There's one there and one over here. You loosen those and you pull the manifold forward. That way you can then get past your valve themselves and we're going to go ahead and tilt it like so and you'll be able to remove this out of there carefully a half inch closed in and it will after because your orifices are gone you can actually fit it on here and grab it right there you know you pass the threads and pull like so and you can actually get it going this way because you may not have the right tool but this will work once you get it around one full turn, you should be able to grab this and twist this all the way around until you get it to come all the way out. Now, one thing I will say is that if you have a little felt pin, you will go and for this next valve here, for example, but this is one you'd have, but you can go in here and clear away your pipe dope here and take a black felt pin and put a little black mark right on that one thread there just twist it and see you'll be able to see the black felt mark there on that then when you get the new valve go ahead and hold them next to each other and just transfer the mark that was on here to your new valve and when you screw it in you go all the way down until you get to that black mark that you did that way you don't have to guess where the height is make sure that when whatever you put pipe dope on any fittings that you're going to loosen up you put some soap solution on there or gas detector and check for leaks and that way you won't have any issue with that.